So here's a little graphic design challenge that I've been given. I'm laying out the index for a uh, very comprehensive history book. And this book has about 500 pages to it, and therefore the index to it is very long by itself. Now the author has sent me the names of everything that needs to go into the index, all the places, all the people, uh, and he's done it in the format that I requested it. In other words, I want it to be last name, comma, first name. The first thing I notice, however, is that this list is not in alphabetical order. So the first challenge is, how do I get it in alphabetical? Since it's a Microsoft Word document, all I have to do is select all of the names, and you can see it's about 40 pages, so it's really uh, extensive. Then I can go up to Table, down to Sort, and I can sort this as if it was an Excel table. In this case, we're doing it by the paragraphs uh, in ascending order. When I say OK, it'll give it just a few seconds, but now you can see all of the names that were typed are now alphabetical. There's another thing to notice. Uh, every once in a while, he may have put in one twice. So, for instance, William Yerger has been listed twice. Whenever I do the indexing, I just have to pay attention to not do that name twice in there, else it just starts to get repetitive. Here's the next major challenge that I have. The indexing software requires me to type the name in as it would appear in the book. So for instance, in a book you would normally just say Nancy Wilder. It wouldn't appear as Wilder, Nancy. So what I'm needing to do is to have another list that would have the last names and first names in the correct order. So here's how to do that. I'm going to need to use Excel and I need to format this so that I can type it in as Excel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find every instance of a comma and a space and I need to replace comma space with a tab. So to do this we'll go up to find and replace. This is in Microsoft Word. So every time it does comma space and you can see now it's starting to find a bunch of them. I do need to pay attention to because sometimes it's going to do a comma space where it's not the end of the name such as Benjamin Whitfield the second but we'll deal with that in a second and I'm going to replace it with hit the down arrow a tab character now that I have a tab character it's going to add a little space at the end of it so when I do replace here's what I have Whitfield da 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 comma everything else looks good now I'm going to select the fields again. Whoops, go to the very bottom of it. Place my cursor there, go to the very top. And do edit, copy. We're going to jump into Microsoft Excel. When I place this into Excel, every time it has a tab, it's going to place one the, the first name, or in this case the last name, in column A the tab will place the first name in column B. This will make it easy to change things around. So edit and paste. And that's what I have right here. Perfect. Now all I need to do in order to swap up the last name and the first name is select column A, command X to cut it, select column C, command V to paste it. Now I've got John Abu, Joseph Abu, first name and last name from there. We're not done yet. Now I need to paste it back into Microsoft Word as a regular uh, list. I'm going to select A and B columns, go to Edit and Copy. This time I'm going to make a new document so I can have two documents open. We'll paste special. In our case we just want to post, paste the unformatted text and this is what I get all the names with a tab placed inside of it. Now all I have to do is a find and replace. In this case we're searching for every time a tab character works or happens and we'll replace it with the regular single space. When I do replace all, now I've got a reversed ordered list of all the names and they're still in alphabetical order. John Abu, Joseph Abu, so on and so forth. With this, all I've got to do is to copy the name, Command C. I can now go back into my file. <clears throat> I like to start off at the very top. Since I'm using InDesign, we'll place it right here. I've got my index file open. 
let's do a find. In this case, we're going to search for John Abu, the first instance of it. When we find it, there he is in our text. I'll go to my index. We'll create a new one. In this case, we're sorting by his last name. So we're going to place that and we're going to choose the whatever current page that it's on. When I choose add all, you can see now, I'll hit done to that, I've got a indexed reference for every time the name John Abu appears within my text. All I've got to do is to copy and paste each one of these and my index will be entirely built.